We're at the Midwest Regional checking in uh, from a team across the pond here. We got team 1884 and 1797. I'm here with Gavin, Isambard, and Sarah. We're going to talk a little bit more about their dual robots here and show one of them and some of the cool things that are going on here. So let's talk about the robot right away and then we'll ask about coming to Chicago and across the pond. But uh, you're telling me before you have a couple of cool mechanisms, specifically, specifically the intake and the elevator. Uh, so why don't you start off with that a little bit and we'll learn more about your bot. Yeah, sure. So one of my personal favorite parts of the robot this year is our intake for the cargo. When we start a match, this thing starts down, but anytime we need to pick up a piece of carbo, it flips out yeah. about 10 inches outside of our frame perimeter. But the neatest part is that it only occupies about two inches of horizontal space on the front of our robot. This was kind of added in when we decided we needed additional capabilities with not that much space. So it's an amazing feat of engineering from our team, at least I like to say so. And then the next part that I like the most is our three-stage elevator. Most of the other teams you'll find at the competition will have two stages, but just for ease of access to the highest cargo and hatch spots, we decided to go with three stages so we can just get as high as we could possibly need. So, Sarah, I want to ask you a little about, uh, tell me something else about the robot you're kind of excited about, and then tell me about your experience coming over here to Chicago. Uh, why did you pick the Midwest Regional? What gets you excited about being here in the States? Um, one thing I Sorry. One thing I would like to talk about actually also has to do with the elevator. I'm a programmer for the team. So um, what we do is we actually use an elevator encoder, which is this thing, which will measure rotations of the um, shaft. And we use that so that the elevator, so that the operator can press a button and the elevator will go to the right height for the, um, for the target. So um, we have, the operator has three buttons and it's stage one, stage two, and stage three for cargo or hatch, and we have a button over here which the ball presses when it comes in so we know if we have a, a ball or not. So that's that's something I'm very proud of. Excellent to hear. Isabel, uh, I want to ask you a couple last things. One, anything about the robot you want to talk about? And I noticed you got this little uh, down here on your neck. Uh, I'd like to just hear a little more of that. We give away a lot of those on our show. What do you like about it? Uh, and then tell us a little bit more about your bot as we wrap up. Uh, so personally for me, one of the most interesting things about our robot is that it's about 20 to 30 percent composite materials. Um, you can see in the intake all of our rollers up here and the drivetrain itself. We have them made out of um, plastic two by one and this is actually called CPE which is copolyester. A similar material to what your shirts are made out of. But this is one of the strongest 3D uh, prints you can find and this is actually what supports our entire robot together. And it's actually incredible because it's scalable for next years in the actual CAD design and it allows our robot to be incredibly light and you can see how densely packed our systems are on this robot and that's because we have so many composite materials and um, in terms of the uh, the battery meters I found that you know when we're quickly hot swapping um, batteries or running to the field to actually you know get the robot on the field this is the quickest way to, uh, to actually check what the voltage is. So we like to run above 12 volts. Um, if it's dropping down a little bit below 13, we're like, okay, maybe we should start charging soon. But this is much faster than the ones that also measure in like ohms or something like that, because they take about you know, 20 seconds to boot up. Having this instantly started up, it's perfect for us. Excellent. Well, Phoenix and Griffin, thank you so much for taking the time. Can't wait to see uh, more of your robot here at the Midwest Regional. Good luck to you all the rest of the competition season. Thanks.